What's going on, Pixel Hackers? Christian Loversic from Pixel Feed here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about if you should be using CBO or ABO for your Facebook campaigns. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. So, I get asked this question all the time. Should I be using CBO or ABO for my Facebook ad campaigns? All right, the answer is, it really depends what your goals are and what your budget is. So let me explain the difference between the two, how they work, and then I'll tell you what I do and how, how I do it. So CBO, for those of you that don't know, it stands for Campaign Budget Optimization. And ABO stands for Ad Set. budget optimization okay so right now you're asking yourself well how does that work and for you to be able to run ads you got to understand how facebook works how the algorithm works okay so when facebook got started back in the day and i'm talking about way back in the day when you could only like buy ads on the right hand side of the call the right hand column it was just reach and impressions you would just throw money at it choose your interests or whatever, and it, it was just impressions. There was no conversion objective, objectives like purchase, add to cart, and check out, add payment, and all that stuff. You know, as Facebook kept evolving and they kept working on the newsfeed, they started working on the pixel. They kept working on the pixel, I should say. And then, you know, they, kept, they released a new version of it and they kept improving on it. So now you have all these different objectives that are sending, you know, that the script is sending back to your ad account. So based on that behavior, the algorithm is learning, your ad account is learning of what it should do with those signals. So they developed something called CBO, which is campaign budget optimization. So how does that work? So when you set your campaign, right? You set your campaign up and then you have, this is your campaign. And then you have your ad sets, right? Okay. And then you have your ads. Okay. That's the structure of your campaign. So back in the day, you would just keep your ad sets inside one campaign and you would call your campaign whatever you want. And then you would choose different interests and different targeting options in here. And then you will set you, you will set your budget. So you would set your budget at, I don't know, let's say 25 bucks, right? On this one. But you know what? This is a bigger audience. So you know what? I want to go with 50. Okay? So you're telling Facebook exactly how much you want to spend on each particular ad set, depending on what your targeting behaviors are and your interests are, right? So if you tell Facebook, hey, I want to spend 25 here and I want to spend 50 here, no matter what, Facebook, when that campaign, when, when that campaign kicks in, when you, when you set it to kick in at midnight, you should be starting all your campaigns at midnight, it's going to do what's called pacing. It's going to pace the budget, meaning no matter what, Facebook is going to stretch out those $25 for the whole duration of the day from midnight to midnight or $50 from midnight to midnight. So Facebook's gonna try to put your ads in front of the right person without kicking that budget up too much and trying to make it last the whole day. You're controlling it, essentially. You're controlling how Facebook spends it. Now, CBO, it's campaign budget optimization. That means you set your budget at the campaign level, okay? So you set your budget here and what Facebook does is you give, it, you, you give your ad sets with all your targeting behaviors and interests and Facebook goes, hmm, Christian's giving me a hundred bucks, right? And I got to make this last all day long. Now, I have two choices of ad sets in here. What, where should I go? So what happens is Facebook starts spending the money and based on the behavior, behavioral signals, that is getting back between the actual ads themselves and the ad sets themselves, meaning CTR, CPC, add to cart, initiate checkout. Facebook's gonna start cycling the budget. So if it goes, oh, ad set number two, first of all, it's gonna spend it however it feels like if you have no rules. And I'm gonna get into rules into a minute. So it goes, I have a hundred bucks. If ad set B, 
is giving me more add to carts, guess what? I'm gonna send most of my budget here. Ideally, that's how it should work. It doesn't always work that way, believe me. So it goes, oh, I'm getting more add to carts here. That means that the people in this audience, it's more interested and they're more likely to convert based on the signals that I'm getting because I'm getting more ATCs. So out of those 100 bucks, you know what? This one's not doing so hot. This one has a low CPC and a good CTR, cost per click, click through rate, but I'm getting zero add to carts. Guess what? People who don't add to cart, they're not most likely gonna buy. So you know what? I'm gonna push. I'm gonna make the push for the add to cart here because it's most likely based on those signals that they're gonna convert and they're gonna purchase for me. So that is ideally how it should work. But CBO is still not perfect yet. I don't care what anyone says, it's not perfect. So here's my rule and the rules that you guys should follow. If you have a small budget to work with, and when I say small, I'm talking about like $25 per ad set or under like 10, five, because a lot of you are newbies or a lot of you run, you know, maybe local campaigns. If you have small budgets and you're testing interest, definitely you'd use uh, ABO, ad set budget optimization. And let those, you set a bunch of interest on, right? And you let them run for, you know, five, 10, 20, maybe $25 a day, and you let them run. And that's an even even playing field, especially if you do broad, in, broad single interest, right? If you do, you know, a campaign with a bunch of ad sets running equally, different interests, right? Equally at, let's say $5, and on and on and on, I'm not gonna do it too long. Then you're really gonna get the true uh, what do you call it? The true um, data back. You're gonna get the true data back, the true, uh, the true information back. You're gonna see the CPC, the CTR, the number of add to carts, and even purchases. So once you see those signals here and you realize which interests are working best, then you can grab this interest, you know, if you have a small budget and go to CBO. And what you can do is like, you can either group them into multiple ad sets, I'll throw this on the floor. So you can either do, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm just giving you guys an example. So let's say you have 500 bucks and you find out who your winner, winning interests are. You can either group like, I don't know, three to 10 of them, together in one single ad set and then let's the CBO do its thing. If it's working, if the CBO is performing like it's supposed to with no rules, then you can just let it run. And the longer it runs, the better it's gonna get. The more that the, the Facebook learns from the, all the data that it's gathering back from uh, that campaign running. Cause you gotta remember, all the, the optimization happens at the ad set level, right? So, and you can get crafty with this. You can either get, you can either do single interests or you can group interests. You can do stacked lookalikes, right? You can do that as well. But when you're running high budgets, you wanna be careful with your budgets as well. So you wanna set rules. And actually, I think I have a video about rules on the channel. So what you do is, or what I do is, when I'm running these high budgets, because I wanna control the spend, because again, Facebook is not perfect when it comes to CBO, it, it's not yet. You know, I set rules. So if my product is, let's say $50, and you know, my CPA cost per acquisition is 25, that's the most I'm willing to pay for a conversion, right? So I can make money, so I can make $25 profit, not even $25 profit, let's say 10 is your overhead, right? That leaves what? That leaves barely any room for, for uh, profit. So this is why you gotta use rules. So you can actually set rules either at the campaign level, at the ad set level, and even at the ad level to play it safe, right? So for example, I'm gonna give you some examples of the rules that I use, right? So I, I set rules always. If my CPA is 25 or more, shut down the ad set. So let's say 
for some reason the CBO has been sending all my budget to this one ad set because it thinks it's gonna convert with the signals that it's getting back, but I'm getting no conversions and it's spending all this money. Well, guess what? My rule is gonna kick in, it's gonna kill that ad set and it's gonna for, uh, force Facebook to start moving, shifting the budget to my remaining ad sets. And this is how you control it. Now it can work very well if you have tight rules. So for example, like I said, I have one that's called, you know, kill if my CPA goes over X. But let's say since there's a delay because rules run every 30 minutes. So let's say there's a delay and your rule kicks in, oh my God, I spent $25 and there's no sales, shut it down. So Facebook shuts it down. But there's, del there's something called delay attribution because it's not instant. You don't get the, the information, Facebook doesn't get the information back instantly. It takes time to process it. So let's say shut down the campaign at 25, you know, and all of a sudden a sell comes in. And then that sell came in at 24, but Facebook read 25 and shut it down immediately. Well, that's a winning asset. I don't want it off. So then I have another rule called attribution where I tell Facebook, hey, only today, during the day, if for some reason you see that an ad set was shut off and a sell came in, let's say at 24, but my CPA was 25, you better turn that ad set back on because that's a winner for me, right? Does that make sense? So that's how you control your CBOs because again, it's not perfect yet. It's not perfect yet. Unless you're one of these huge brands like Nike, Coca-Cola or whatever, anything like that, that literally, just has some money to spend no matter what for branding, you really wanna have rules in your CBO to control everything that's going on, okay? And you know, to keep testing your interest, do it with uh, ABO, with ad set budget optimization. That way you can actually, you can either start by, if you're starting out, you can group the interests together, let's say 10 of them, 20 of them, or you can do separate, like I mentioned before, and then you're gonna see what which ones start to emerge or not, and then you can start moving them onto CBOs because you already know they're winners. So no matter what you do with the CBO, you're gonna get sales. It's just a matter of controlling your, C your CPA. So what is the verdict at the end of the day? Small budgets starting out, start with ABO. Big budgets right off the bat, start with CBO. And then if you're starting out from scratch, ABO, and then move to CBO at some point, all right? I hope that makes sense for you guys. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. Please support the channel by checking out the links in the description below. And if you wanna keep taking your Facebook ads to the next level, make sure to check out one of the videos right above me. And I will see you guys in the next video.